My fellow Americans, in recent days you've been hearing some folks say that you can only wear a certain kind of shorts, that America only has room for a certain number of pockets or a certain style of summer fashion. And these folks feel very strongly that they are right, that they know what's best for America. Well, they're entitled to their opinions, but I disagree. See, what these folks fail to see, these well-intentioned but misguided individuals, is that America is not just about one belief or another, one style of shorts or another, one set of pockets or four. America is about welcoming multiple styles of shorts together at the same time. That's called plural pocketism, and that's the America that we know and love. When Abraham Lincoln saw the Union soldiers returning home after Gettysburg, wearing torn up uniforms, splattered with the blood of their brothers, and makeshift trousers with more pockets than any sane man could count, he didn't say, you're not allowed back home, soldier. No. No, he didn't. He welcomed every soldier with all styles of trousers, with open arms and theater tickets. And just like back then, we don't judge people based on what they wear. That's not right. That's not American. We don't even see fashion anymore. The internet is taking care of that. Yet, before all the pipes and tubes of modern data thingies, we know right from wrong. When John F. Kennedy saw the complicated pockets on the space suit of our pioneering Mercury astronauts, he didn't say, yes, we will go to the moon, but not looking like that. No. No, he didn't. He said, Neil and Buzz, Alan and Jim, you guys wear whatever you want. Styles will continue to change during our journey to that great moon, but it doesn't matter. We're behind you, pockets and all. You do you, boys. Make us proud. And they did. You know, I recently spoke with a 78-year-old grandmother from Tallahassee, Florida. And this spry young woman, Aloisa Beldrich Stakes, told me an amazing story. You see, her mother used to sew extra pockets into the shorts of her younger brothers just so they had a place to keep their jacks and marbles and tiny lizards. And the pride and love that I saw in her face, the twinkle in her eye when I told her, When, when I told her that we are continuing to fight for the right for every man, woman, and child to wear whatever they want, whatever kind of shorts they want for this summer, with as many pockets as befits their own lifestyle, well, it would have lit up the sky just like those Apollo rockets so many years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, our jacks and marbles and lizards may have changed, but we still need a place to put them. And so, I am here to tell you that tonight, I am announcing legislation to banish all legwear discrimination and restrictions from all federal programs, offices, and agencies from this day forward. My fellow Americans, we will no longer be bound by the tyranny of the latest fashion trends and society's fancy whims. That's not the America we love. We will no longer be judged by what we wear. That's not the America we love. We will no longer be limited by the number of pockets we choose to sew into our shorts. That's not the America we love. The America we know.
the America we love, is a place where all are welcome, whether they wear cargo shorts or convertibles, booty shorts or cutoffs, boy shorts or girl shorts, Bermudas or jorts, running shorts, walking shorts, gym shorts, or no shorts at all. My fellow Americans, the descendants of those Union soldiers, the descendants of America's Apollo astronauts, and the descendants of Aloisa Beldrich Stakes deserve to wear whatever shorts they want this summer and for the rest of their lives. And we are here to make that happen. Join us this summer, my friends. All are welcome on Team Cargo. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.